Hello, Optic Nation, Optic Midnight, or Ashley here, bringing you another commentary by myself, playing some Search and Destroy on High Rise. And you're gonna excuse me, I fast forward some parts. Uh, basically, I just wanted to cut the fat from this commentary because it's kind of long, and uh, there's a couple times where I die, and you honestly don't want to spectate somebody who's just not doing it right, or they're just sitting in the spawn. No one wants to spectate that for a commentary. So, yeah, um,. Basically, the gameplay's alright. Uh, I do love playing Search and Destroy quite a bit, and I love Free For All, so that's usually the gameplay you see from me, but I am open to suggestions. What is your guys' favorite game type to watch someone sniping? Because I love sniping, and I am definitely open to new things. Um, anyway, I wanted to share with you guys a story before I really uh, get going in this commentary. Um, it's actually a funny story that happened to me. I was, uh, well, I don't know. If you guys know, um, I live in Minnesota, and... Um, I do usually love it here, although I do hate winter, but um, whenever it seems to be, uh, you know, going from one season to another, so right now we're getting into spring. Spring should be here already, by the way, but it's not. It just snowed last week. Um, anyway, the weather's really bad. It's really cloudy, really rainy, so, like, a car wash is kind of one of those things that doesn't happen that often, because it's like, why wash your car if it's just going to get rained on? It's going to be, like, all crappy the next day. Anyway, but um, there was a stretch of nice days recently, and I was like, hey, man, I'm going to go get my car wash, like... That's gonna be awesome and I was a uh, I was kind of pressed for time so I, usually I would go to the one where you it's like self-serve you just go and like you you wash your car yourself with the hose and the soap and whatever yeah I usually do that by myself but I was pressed for time so I was like yeah I'm gonna go uh, through the the drive-through car wash or whatever and I go in there and <laughs> I'm sitting in there it's my, the car wash is starting and there's literally like I'm sitting in my car and I got like a hoodie on and I all of a sudden I feel my arm getting really wet and I'm like, no way, no, I left my window down. So I go, I, I go to roll up the window. I'm like, well, what the hell? My window's already all the way rolled up. Are you serious? Apparently there's like some sort of, I don't know, some crack in the seal of my door and window or whatever. And I got sprayed. Like it wasn't that bad. Like it, it wasn't probably how you're thinking. It was like water everywhere gushing in. It wasn't like that, but it was like this stream just hitting me in the arm. And I, I honestly do wish that I had like a dashboard cam that recorded me all the time because that would have probably been the most funniest reaction <laughs> video of of all time. Um, and never mind this crappy sniping on on my part here. Uh, usually. Uh, I usually just kill them, hard scope them, and get it done with, but I don't know what I was trying to do here. It's definitely embarrassing. Um, that's And that's mainly what I wanted to talk to you guys about, to get your opinion. Usually, when I do a commentary for you uh, nation subs, I like to have something to talk about. And today, I'm going to talk about quick scoping versus hard scoping. And basically, when I do usually do a commentary on this channel, I try to get like your guys' opinions as well as like throwing out my own. And I actually do love reading um, most of the comments of my nation videos because they're mostly really positive and I get a lot of good feedback from you guys, which is my favorite part of doing this whole YouTube thing. So, I'm just gonna start by saying that um, there once was a great man upon our sniping community named Optic Hex. Maybe you guys know him, heard of him, maybe once or twice, seen a video. Um, he once said that, um, what is this, what did he say? He's like, quick scoping is something that you should do out of necessity and not out of flash. So how I would interpret that quote is, um, quick scoping, we all know what that is, um, is something that should only be done to not show off, basically, is how I take that. And it could probably maybe be interpreted in different ways, but that's how I interpret it. And so I apply that to my gameplay, which basically means, um, you know, I'll, I'll put up a commentary or something, and it seems like even if I scope in for, like, just a second, people are like, Oh my god, Midnight, I can't believe you, like, hard scope the whole game. You're such a bad kid. You're a bad sniper. Why are you an optic? Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, that's, that's how I read the comments like that in my head. Um, and I just, I can't quite understand it. Like, look at here. I'm hard scoping the spawn, obviously, because that's just what happens on high rises. But, like, do people honestly expect me to just try to no scope and quick scope that long of a distance? Or, you know... I'm not saying that I can't quickscope. I obviously can quickscope if you've seen any of my other videos. Um, it, it's something that I think I'd like to say I'm good at, but it is something that I don't do every kill just because I want to. I actually want to go for the kill right away. And if that means, you know, hard scoping a little bit or, you know, looking into my scope for longer than two seconds, 
then that's what I'm going to do. I think that, like, right here, I'm searching for this guy, and I get him. Would it be necessary for me to try a quick scope? Probably not. Would I maybe hit a quick scope that far? Maybe, but maybe not. So for me, it's like going for the for sure kill and getting the person. So I don't know. Obviously, mod over for two quick scoping is something that has been uh, being done for a while. But I just wanted to know, like, your guys' opinions on it and what you think. Like, when you see someone, um, you know, if if the scope goes in for like two seconds of a final kill cam, do you consider that a hard scope? Do you think that that person's a bad sniper? What do you guys think about hard scoping versus quick scoping and what Hex's quote maybe means? And yeah. So that was my topic for discussion in this commentary. I hope that you guys uh, maybe put a little thought into it of uh, why, you know, why people would quick scope instead of hard scope and why people would hard scope instead of quick scope like my last kill I just pretty much quick scoped him real quick because it, it I felt like he needed to be killed very quickly but this one I actually heard this guy below me shot him that I mean I don't know you guys can interpret it however you want just let me know in the comment section your opinion and uh, one more thing before I go um, I'm working on a pretty big uh, big episode to be uploaded to this channel called Midnight Delight. My previous uh, smaller episodes are on my channel. If you want, I'll put the playlist for that in the description. Go check them out. Tell me uh, if you like me doing mini tages and stuff like that, I can start uploading those here. Let me know, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! Like, oh my god, I have a Twitter.